Here is a remarkable compilation that reveals some of the most baffling and exceptional moments in history. Explore the past and witness the amazing, heartbreaking, and awe-inspiring moments that shaped the future and made history more interesting. Number 1. Real Sword Fight The snapshot depicts René Ribière, a French politician caught up in an extraordinary chapter of political history. In 1967, Ribière took part in the final duel in France, a dramatic battle with Gaston de Ferre. The duel occurred following an exchange of insults in the French Parliament. Ribière, mildly hurt, succumbed to de Ferre, bringing an end to a centuries-old practice. This one-of-a-kind image captures not only the moment of an archaic fight, but also the tremendous emotions and pride that may escalate political conflicts to a dramatic and physical level, evoking a bygone era of honor and confrontation in French political culture. Number 2. Soldier Helps Little Boy In a sad event from 1961, an East German soldier disregarded clear orders by assisting a young boy in crossing the newly constructed Berlin Wall. The soldier, touched by compassion, chose humanity over rigorous orders, demonstrating a great act of generosity. Despite war tensions and the wall's intentional division, this act became a symbol of common humanity, emphasizing the universal desire for connection and family ties. The soldier's decision to choose the boy's reintegration with his family over political hurdles is a timeless reminder of the power of empathy and compassion to overcome even the most strict forms of isolation. Number 3. Angry Kangaroo in 1967, an uncommon scene occurred in England that drew considerable attention when a kangaroo unexpectedly administered a quick strike to a photographer seeking to capture its image. This incredible episode, captured in Voller Ernst's photograph, adds a hilarious twist to the history of animal interactions. The kangaroo's unexpected and defensive reaction serves as a fun reminder of the unpredictable nature of the animal kingdom. Beyond the traditional narratives of wildlife encounters, this snapshot captures a moment of unexpected humor, demonstrating the different and often amusing ways in which humans and animals cohabit in the ever-changing tapestry of nature. Number 4. Make Way for Catherine Catherine Switzer challenged gender conventions at the Boston Marathon in 1967. Switzer persevered despite initial opposition from competition organizers who sought to prohibit her participation, becoming the first woman to officially complete the historic race. The episode, recorded in classic images, represented a watershed moment in women's sports, defying long-standing gender restrictions. Number 5. Statue Discovered in 1894, a riveting spectacle developed as archaeologists and laborers gathered before the awe-inspiring site of Antinous's nearly clean and erect statue. This astonishing discovery, made in the sanctuary at Delphi, Greece, near the Temple of Apollo, represented an archaeological victory. The frozen tableau captivated visitors who witnessed flawless preservation, providing a rare peek into antiquity's superb handiwork. The erect statue of Antinous, a tribute to bygone craftsmanship, serves as a time capsule, urging us to marvel at the precise artistry and mystery that surround the ancient sanctuary at Delphi. Number 6. Kiss After War Following World War II, Alfred Eisenstadt went to New York's Times Square to photograph the jubilant celebrations that marked the war's end. This encounter resulted in one of the most iconic photographs of the 20th century. While it is well known for depicting a happy reunion between a sailor and a nurse, several critics disagree with its interpretation. The image, carved in history, captures the complex emotions of a transformative era, allowing for a variety of opinions on the nature of the encounter. Number 7. Oldest Photograph the oldest known photographic portrait of a person in the United States is from 1839 when photography pioneer Robert Cornelius expertly took it. Cornelius had to maintain total stillness for 10 to 15 minutes to accomplish this stunning self-portrait. This early milestone in photography demonstrates Cornelius's. Technical expertise required in the early stages of this transformational visual art form. Number 8. Feeding Polar Bears in 1976, Soviet adventurer Nikolai Makulyak 
showed exceptional compassion by offering condensed milk and meat to a polar bear and her pups near Cape Schmidt on the Chukchi Sea coast. This pleasant sight depicts the junction of humanity and the untamed outdoors, emphasizing an unexpected connection between man and nature. The snapshot shows the intrinsic connection that transcends species, exhibiting empathy and mutual understanding in the most unexpected settings. Number 9. Life-Saving Kiss Rocco Morabito's Pulitzer Prize-winning photograph captures utility worker Jimmy Thompson valiantly administering mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to his comatose colleague, Randall Champion, following an electric shock event. Thompson's quick and competent intervention not only saved Champion's life, but also kept him alive until 2002. The dramatic image captures this moment of life-saving courage, showing a lineman's unselfish actions in the face of danger and Champion's tenacity, which allowed him to live for many years afterward. Number 10. American Sculptor Anna Coleman Ladd, a renowned American sculptor, is remembered for her substantial contributions during World War I, particularly her expertise in creating prosthetic masks for troops who had been disfigured. Her artistic ability and humanitarian dedication to assisting these war-wounded persons not only improved their physical features, but also gave them a newfound sense of normalcy and confidence. Ladd's effect went beyond artistry, leaving an unforgettable mark on the lives of those who had survived wartime atrocities, demonstrating the great ability of creativity and humanity to heal the wounds of combat. Number 11. Construction Workers Eleven construction workers are seen casually enjoying a meal, chatting, smoking, seemingly unaware that they are hanging 840 feet above Manhattan, held only by a flimsy beam. This true comfort is grounded in truth, as these men actively participated in the development of Rockefeller Center. However, the shot, taken on the 69th floor of the landmark RCA building, depicts a well-staged scenario. This seemingly honest moment was part of an advertising campaign for the massive skyscraper complex, brilliantly capturing the constructor's casual confidence and friendliness. Number 12. Earthrise This photo was taken on December 24, 1968, after the Apollo 8 spacecraft began its voyage, marking the first manned mission to orbit the moon. During a turbulent year for America, astronauts Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill... Anders achieved lunar orbit on Christmas Eve. During the fourth orbit, emerging from the moon's far side, a stunning panorama of the blue-white Earth unfurled, leaving an everlasting mark on history. Number 13. Picture Before Landing In 1931, German photographer Willy Ruge captured this image seconds before landing down during his daring seven-minute parachute descent over Berlin. Suspended in mid-air, the photograph captures the junction of human courage and technological invention. Rouge's lens captures not only the adrenaline-fueled descent, but also a watershed moment in aviation history. Number 14. Fat Man Bomb Following the Hiroshima bombing by Little Boy, three days later, U.S. forces fired an even more destructive weapon, Fat Man, on Nagasaki. The explosion resulted in a massive 45,000-foot-high plume of radioactive dust and debris. Lieutenant Charles Levy, the bombardier, vividly remembered the horrific image of a chaotic plume climbing into the sky, a mix of purple, red, and white that resembled boiling coffee. Overwhelmed by the 20-kiloton blast, he was able to acquire 16 images that demonstrate the terrifying might of this new weapon. Number 15. Bride in War on November 4, 1940, amidst the wartime destruction in London, a bride emerged from her newly devastated home to begin her journey as a married woman. The dramatic contrast of love and grief is palpable as the resilient bride, unfazed by the horrors of war, marches forward to celebrate a fresh beginning. This striking photograph captures the tenacious spirit of humans pressing ahead in the face of hardship, symbolizing the determination prevalent during a turbulent period in history. Number 16. Zeppelin Crash Zeppelins, as towering skyliners, symbolized opulence and influence. 
Their presence was remarkable, causing Sam's share of the International News Photo Service to stand in the rain at Lakehurst Naval Air Station in New Jersey on May 6, 1937, anticipating the arrival of the LZ Hindenburg from Frankfurt. In an unexpected turn of events witnessed by the media, the opulent airship, spanning 800 feet, succumbed to a spectacular conflagration when its volatile hydrogen ignited, resulting in a bright yellow fire. Scheer, along with a group of photographers, hurried to record the quickly unfolding disaster, immortalizing the horrific and awful event. Number 17, MGM logo. The renowned MGM logo has undergone a dramatic change over the years, but this picture immortalized the moment when the original logo was being shot with a real lion. This symbolic mascot originated in 1916 when publicist Howard Dietz chose the lion to honor his alma mater, Columbia University. Dietz's imaginative choice, inspired by the university's rousing war song, Roar, Lion, Roar, became a lasting icon for MGM. The interesting shot captures the historic moment when a living lion was introduced into the cinematic insignia, a bold decision that would become linked with one of film history's most recognizable trademarks. Number 18. Salvador Dali Portrait Philippe Halsman's portrait of surrealist painter Salvador Dali deviated from the typical seated pose. Inspired by Dali's painting Leda Atomica, Halsman created a complex tableau using the original artwork, a levitating chair and a suspended easel. Assistants, including Halsman's wife and daughter Irene, waited for Dali's cue to toss three cats and a pail of water into the air when he leaped. This intricate arrangement needed 26 attempts before Halsman arrived at a composition he considered worthy. Number 19. Enoch Man Teaching Hunting Around 1920, an Enoch father was photographed teaching a child how to shoot. This intriguing image shows the Inuit community's cultural history and survival knowledge that has been passed down through centuries. This scene, set against the backdrop of Arctic landscapes, highlights an important component of Inuit life, in which traditional skills like hunting and shooting were necessary for survival. Number 20. Dovima Richard Avedon photographed the renowned image Dovima with elephants at a Paris circus in 1955 for Harper's Bazaar. Dovima, a well-known model, and Avedon, a prominent fashion photographer, were both featured in the shot. Beyond its fame, the image's continuing importance stems from its depiction of the final era of sophisticated models in the exclusive world of haute couture. Number 21. Black Cats In 1961, a strange scene developed as people, each accompanied by their black pet cats, lined up for auditions in a low-budget Hollywood horror film starring black felines. The unique casting call mirrored the quirky and budget-conscious spirit of the film industry at the time. Pet owners seized the opportunity, displaying their enchanting friends for a chance in the spotlight. Number 22. Marilyn Monroe in Korea In 1954, Marilyn Monroe graced the stage, mesmerizing thousands of American troops in Korea. The renowned actress and emblem of Hollywood beauty provided a sense of home for the military audience stationed overseas. I've never seen so many men in all my life. Monroe's influence went beyond the realm of entertainment, representing a link between the glittering world of film and the heroic men who served their country. Number 23, Motor Show. In 1910, the flourishing automotive industry took center stage at the Paris Motor Show, staged within the beautiful surroundings of the Grand Palais. This famous event exhibited the latest technologies and ideas, attracting enthusiasts and industry insiders alike. Against the backdrop of the beautiful Grand Palais in Paris, automobile manufacturers showcased their cutting-edge products, marking a critical milestone in the history of automotive technology and design. Number 24. New York Central Railroad Streamliner In 1936, the sleek New York Central Railroad Streamliner, Mercury, flowed through the metropolitan environment, passing by Syracuse City Hall in a display of new engineering brilliance. This snapshot highlights the vibrant era of streamlined rail travel, defined by speed and visual elegance. The Mercury, with its futuristic look, marks the epitome of technological innovation throughout the 1930s. Number 25. Golden Gate Bridge 
Captured around 1935, a stunning image displays the Golden Gate Bridge in the midst of construction. The famous structure, synonymous with San Francisco, emerges against the backdrop of growth. Steel cables drape like delicate threads as towers climb into the sky, reflecting the bridge's imminent majesty. The photo immortalizes a moment in time, reflecting the commitment and engineering brilliance behind this huge endeavor. Number 26. Stoic Royal Guard In the 1970s, a daring scene transpired outside Stockholm Palace, Sweden, as a girl simultaneously licked an ice cream cone and playfully played with the tip of a gun's bayonet, attempting to create a reaction from a Stoic Royal Guard. The snapshot depicts a moment of bold juxtaposition, merging innocence with an undercurrent of defiance. Number 27. Tankman. Jeff Widener rose to prominence as a photojournalist in the late 20th century after capturing a famous image of a young Chinese man confronting tanks during the 1989 Tiananmen Square Rebellion. Despite his injuries the day before, Widener ignored orders to remain at his hotel, taking advantage of the opportunity to capture the events from his window. Running out of the film, he stole a role from an Australian tourist and took the now famous shot. Number 28, Traffic Jam. This intriguing photograph captured in Ireland in the year 1900 portrays the essence of a unique traffic jam, a pilgrimage on the way to Loch Derg in County Donegal. Loch Derg, an island sanctuary dedicated to St. Patrick, has been a pilgrimage destination for over 1,500 years. The image, captured by acclaimed photographer Robert French, depicts a continual stream of committed travelers, highlighting the enduring attractiveness of this Christian pilgrimage site. Number 29. Left to Right Driving This snapshot captures the chaotic aftermath of Sweden's dramatic shift from left to right driving in 1967. The image captures the first morning of this transformational change, depicting a frantic setting with cars navigating the streets in. An unexpected layout. The move, a daring decision to improve road safety, temporarily disrupted traffic flow. In the midst of traffic chaos, the snapshot becomes a historical artifact. Number 30. Risk-Taking Acrobats In a breathtaking shot captured in 1934, Three acrobats defy gravity atop the Empire State Building's soaring pinnacle. This stunning photograph captures a moment of brazen courage against the famed New York City skyline. The acrobats, perched dangerously at enormous heights, represent not only the incredible feats of human agility, but also the spirit of adventure that defined an age. The shot goes beyond the ordinary, capturing the exciting combination of ability and courage. Number 31 face after war. The image on the left side shows Soviet soldier Yugen Stepanovich Kobitev on the day he went on the perilous voyage to war. The solemnity in his gaze foreshadows the uncertainty and struggles that await him. Fast forward to 1945, the photograph on right depicts an altered Kobitev, shaped by the terrible impact of war. The difference between the two is significant, despite being only four years apart. The scars of conflict are inscribed on his face, showing the cost of war. These two photos tell a moving story of sacrifice and the indelible marks left by the crucible of warfare. Number 32. Harlem Hellfighters During World War I, the Harlem Hellfighters, an all-black battalion, stood out as brave heroes, outlasting all other troops in terms of service time and valor. Although their contributions, particularly obtaining the Croix de Guerre in 1919, drew accolades in France, the Hellfighters' historical significance has sadly eroded with time. This photograph captures a moment of triumph for these unsung troops, emphasizing the need to revive their legacy. Beyond the praises, the photograph serves as a painful Reminder of the racial inequities that exist in historical narratives, encouraging a renewed recognition of the Harlem Hellfighters' unmatched commitment and bravery, guaranteeing their rightful place in military history. Number 33. Peter Freuchen In 1947, Arctic adventurer Peter Freuchen appeared beside his third wife, Dagmar Freuchen Gale, wearing a polar bear coat made from a bear he hunted himself. The shot captures Freuchen's daring ethos, showing the tough resilience honed throughout his polar treks. 
Beyond the distinctive fashion statement, the image shows a guy who is inextricably linked to nature's extremes, reflecting the ethos of survival under tough conditions. Number 34. Mark Twain in Tesla Lab. Around 1894, a unique convergence occurred in Nikola Tesla's laboratory, where the literary legend Mark Twain shared space with the visionary scientist. This unusual pairing found common ground in their mutual admiration. Tesla was engaged in Twain's literary writings, and Twain was fascinated by technology. The picture immortalized the moment when the elegance of language intersected with the marvels of innovation. Number 35. John Grizzly Adams. The stunning image from 1856 depicts a unique moment on the American frontier, showing John Grizzly Adams with one of the bears he had trapped and tamed. Adams was well known for his daring contacts with grizzlies, and he frequently wrestled these fearsome predators. In a particularly dramatic confrontation, a grizzly. Bear attacked him in the head, dislodging his scalp and inflicting long-term head trauma. Number 36 final episode of Seinfeld. In a nostalgic moment trapped in time, New Yorkers assembled at Times Square to see the culmination of a cultural phenomenon, the final episode of Seinfeld. The tremendously successful show about nothing ran for nine seasons and ended in 1998, leaving an enduring legacy in television history. The snapshot depicts a moment of communal involvement, representing Seinfeld's impact on bringing people together to enjoy laughter, wit, and the quirks of modern urban living. Number 37. First Diving Suit. In a stunning shot from the year 1911, inventor Chester E. McDuffie stands proudly next to one of the first atmospheric diving suits. This pioneering device, a marvel of its day, represented a huge advance in underwater research. The outfit, weighing a whopping 600 pounds, shows the era's unrelenting quest for innovation and mastery of the depths. McDuffie's invention, a forerunner to contemporary diving equipment, represents humanity's ongoing effort to uncover the mysteries of the water. Number 38. Bored Prince Charles. In this curious snapshot from Queen Elizabeth II coronation in 1953, Prince Charles appears to be bored caught between his grandmother, the queen mother, and his mother, the newly crowned queen. The photo captures a candid moment amidst the pomp and ceremony of a historical event. Prince Charles, at the youthful age of four, appears unenthused by the regal ceremonies and symbolizes a child's impatience with the grandeur of such formal occasions. Number 39. World War II Bear in the midst of World War II, a Polish regiment formed an unusual friendship with Wojtek, a bear adopted into their ranks. This unorthodox friend became an important member of the unit, participating in the human experiences of wartime brotherhood. Interestingly, Wojtek drank beer, smoked cigarettes, and earned his own rank and serial number. Beyond the traditional confines of wartime alliances, this unusual coalition demonstrates the persistence and adaptability of those facing the harsh realities of combat. Number 40. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders, now an iconic mascot for Kentucky Fried Chicken, popularly known as KFC, was originally based on the company's real-life founder, Harland David Sanders. Sanders began serving fried chicken at his Kentucky petrol station in the 1930s, launching his legendary business. This image captures the beginnings of a culinary heritage that grew from a small roadside stand to an internationally recognized fast food behemoth. Colonel Sanders' image not only personifies the company, but also represents the entrepreneurial drive and tasty inventions that catapulted KFC to become an enduring emblem of finger-licking good cuisine around the world. Number 41, Princess Diana's Vehicle Crash. This heartbreaking image captures the aftermath of Princess Diana's fatal vehicle crash on August 31, 1997. The crumpled debris, crushed against the walls of a Paris tunnel, stands as a strong reminder of the horrific catastrophe that occurred. The beloved people's princess passed away unexpectedly while being chased by paparazzi, leaving a devastating sorrow that rippled around the world. The news of this crash then went on to create many controversies that are still popular and left unanswered today. Number 42. 
Ruby Bridges goes to school. This striking image from November 14, 1960, shows six-year-old Ruby Bridges walking to her first day of school at William France Elementary School in New Orleans, accompanied by federal agents. Bridges, the first African-American youngster to desegregate the all-white school, faced a hostile throng, their venomous chants mirroring the anti-integration sentiment. This image is an unforgettable representation of a young girl's daring trek toward racial equality, symbolizing her strength and fortitude as her brave footprints left an indelible stamp on America's difficult route of desegregation. Number 43. Martin Luther King Plays Pool while Martin Luther King Jr. dedicated his life to fighting for the rights of black Americans, this stunning snapshot from 1966 provides a rare insight into his leisure time, exposing an unexpected aspect of his personality. In a stunning display of expertise, King executes a trick shot during a game of pool. Beyond his legendary role as a civil rights leader, this shot humanizes King by highlighting his complex personality and capacity to find joy in simple pleasures. Number 44, Easter Island. Picture shows the massive heads of Easter Island, which had piqued the interest of historians and archaeologists for years. However, the fascination extends beyond the famous visages to the buried mysteries beneath the surface. Since 1914, Archaeologists have investigated the mystery torsos of these enormous statues, uncovering a wealth of knowledge about the ancient society that made them. These. Researchers have solved the mystery surrounding the whole form of these monuments, shedding light on their construction, purpose, and cultural significance. Number 45. Loving Skeletons. Archaeologists were baffled by the finding of two skeletons in a constant embrace in northern Iran in 1972. The intimate stance raised questions about their relationship. Despite the mystery surrounding their relationship, scholars believe the couple met a horrible end during a violent invasion around 800 BC. The haunting details, such as their hands on each other's chins and a gentle kiss, imply an enduring love that transcends time. This archaeological tableau not only encourages reflection on the circumstances surrounding their deaths, but also immortalizes a timeless tribute to love, resilience, and an unbreakable friendship that endured even in the face of adversity. Number 46. Leap into Freedom. In 1961, Konrad Schumann, a 19-year-old East German border guard, challenged the Iron Curtain and attempted a daring escape, which became known as the Leap into Freedom. The iconic shot, which captures the split-second choice to flee to the West, represents the desire for liberty in the face of political conflict. However, the repercussions of this rise to prominence took its toll on Schumann. Struggling with the weight of sudden celebrity, he succumbed to the pressures of his changed life and took his own life in 1998. Number 47 ice transport. This stunning photograph, captured in September 1918, depicts a watershed moment in American history when societal conventions were upended by the demands of World War II. In a departure from traditional gender boundaries, two young girls are shown distributing ice in Manhattan, a job formerly designated for men. The unusual shift in job dynamics was a direct result of the war's shortage of male. Laborers, this snapshot serves as a visual witness to American women's endurance and adaptation amid a crisis as they took on unusual responsibilities to cover labor gaps. Number 48. Beatles and Taj Mahal In 1966, George Harrison started on a cultural journey through the East, armed with a fisheye lens and a deep curiosity. The Beatles' visit to India took place against the backdrop of a growing interest in Eastern spirituality and culture. This stunning photo captures Harrison's inner reflection as he takes a selfie in front of the iconic Taj Mahal, demonstrating the convergence between Western pop culture and Eastern customs. Number 49. Anti-British Propaganda In this compelling image from 1941 Japan, two women participate in anti-British propaganda using a remarkable visual metaphor. They express dislike for Winston Churchill by pinching their noses, symbolizing a terrible odor. The gesture is both artistic and insulting, expressing wartime tensions and hostility between Japan and the Allies. 
During this time, propaganda frequently used strong visual signals to sway public opinion and instill negative attitudes toward political figures. This shot is a vivid example of how visuals were used to convey complicated geopolitical ideas, with symbolism fueling anti-British emotions throughout World War II. Number 50. Father Meets Daughter in a moving picture from 1956, the wreckage of World War II is palpable as a German prisoner liberated by the Soviet Union enjoys a long-awaited reunion with his 12-year-old daughter. This moment's emotional crescendo goes beyond the era's geopolitical stress. The father's return after surviving the horrors of war and incarceration has far-reaching consequences for the family's story. The daughter, who has been separated from her father since infancy, is suddenly confronted with the reality of a long-desired paternal presence. The snapshot depicts the delicate record of post-war healing, familial love, and the enduring human spirit. Beyond the current geopolitical divides, 